drinks and settling in for the pennant match. Look at me, getting carried away again. So, what can I do for you? Graham's always filling the airwaves with this propaganda, like it's done him any good. All it means is the tossball games get to us in fragments. Makes him real hard to watch. Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. They were pretty distinct. Monarch doesn't exactly have a thriving dental industry, and Isaac seemed to get stuck in all sorts of bad habits, dietary and otherwise. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader, other times he'd keep betting on a losing team, started owing the wrong people money. I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Good. Someone's gotta. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. are you? This ain't your alley. Hey! What are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. Wait, you're the new sublight partner? Look, I don't want any trouble. Aha! The helpful stranger I've heard so much about. Here to do business, hmm? Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very 
generous. Noted. But not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? What a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Alcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. I'd been saving a bottle of iceberg aged whiskey for an occasion like this. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. Now, I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but... It seems we're back to the drawing board. Because he's scared to go it alone. You need the board to hold your hand and tell you everything's gonna be okay. Ain't that right? Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. Now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. You talk like Graham. Can't imagine why you'd sneer at the notion of a free colony. Could it be because you're an agent of the establishment? I used to be young and idealistic too, but you can't run a city on high-minded ideals. Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. Are you out of your mind? You can't just go crawling back to your old masters. Well, we can't continue to subsist like this either. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach. And the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. And a Mantisaur problem. And a Marauder problem. Many, many problems, but they can all be solved with a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. What a question! Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Wait. We're dropping a bomb on the board? Sort of. Really, we're just going to blackmail them into offering us a seat at the table. But really, 
Whatever gets you excited about the idea. It's definitely a firm middle finger. That's what I like to hear. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and in secret. Is it really illegal if the board's the one that makes the rules in the first place? If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to... Encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. You really think so? I admit I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just needed someone capable to help me carry it out. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. Oh, I imagine you do. But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? Once you, uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. <laughs> I knew you were the right person for the job. I suppose I'll leave you to it. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? But that's terrible. What happened? But that means we won't be able to log their testimonies. If there's one thing I've been hoping to re-establish in Stellar Bay, it's proper documentation for legal matters. Always a shame when tempers get the better of good sense. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and for years, I was a joke to them. Ugh, one of the executives required a transplant. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. Apparently not. In charge of a scrap heap of a city. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Was there something else? Do you think we're the problem? Have you even heard the nonsense Graham is spewing? It isn't easy keeping a town like Stellar Bay afloat, especially without the board's backing. We need that frequency to reach our trading partners. Indeed. That's why it's imperative that MSI be reinstated onto the board. If we can find proof that one of the companies on the board is also active on Monarch, that'll give me all the leverage I need. You have my word.